Good morning viewers. Good morning children. How are you? Fine. How are you? Fine. How are you children at home? May you join us today in our discussion Truth by Decision. And before we start, may I ask Serene to pray for us? Let's pray. Our King and everlasting Master, we thank you for being with us. We thank you for helping us to come here. And as we are going to start our lesson, may please be with us. May please help us understand. In just name I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Now, um, I'm Teacher Lucy, Lucy Wamwea. And um, may the children who will participate with me introduce my, themselves briefly from them. Hello, viewers. I'm Lydia Angoy. Thank you. Hello, viewers. I'm Celine Joki. Welcome to this. Welcome to this service. Hello, viewers. I am Clifford Kaluki. Welcome to the program. Hello, viewers. I'm Alex Sotien. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Our topic, as I have said, is truth by decision. And uh, before we start, may we sing a song that goes with the topic. I have decided. We are familiar with it. Let's sing. I, I have decided, decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. No turning back, no turning back. Though no one joins me, still I will follow. Though no one joins me, still I will follow. Though no one joins me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. No turning back, no turning back. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. No turning back, no turning back. No turning back, no turning back. Now from the song, we have already decided. So we have already made decision. we have already made a what? A decision. A decision. And it is a personal decision. decision. Now, have you decided on anything since you woke up in the morning? Have you decided on anything, Radia? Yes. yes. Have you made any, any decision since you woke up? Yes. Which one? I've decided to come to church and praise the Lord. Very good. She decided to come to church and praise the Lord, Serene, have you decided on anything since you woke up? Yes. Which decision did you make? My hair was shaggy, so I decided to comb it. Very nice. Clifford, have you decided on anything since you woke up? Yes. Mm -hmm. Continue. I've decided on which pair of shoes to put on today. Very nice. Alex, have you decided on anything? Yes. Yes. I decided, I decided on which shirt to wear today. Very nice. So that means we make decisions every moment on daily basis we decide on things. All right? Yes. Very good. Now, do you know decision making is a skill in life? It is a skill in life. life. For us to survive in this world, we must have the skill of decision making. It is a skill. We call it a life skill. We call it a Life skill. So we cannot survive without the skill of decision making. Now, do you know of any character in the Bible who made a, a wise decision? Do you know of any? Yes. Who? Alex? Who? Job. Job. Yes. Uh huh. Continue. Job. He, st he, st he sticked with God no matter what happened to him. Yeah. Thank you. Who else can tell us of a person who made a wise decision in the Bible? Abraham. Abraham. Which decision did he make? When he decided to obey God and went to Canaan. Very good. Do we have anyone in the Bible who made a wrong choice? Yes. yes. Who? Cain. 
Clifford? Kane. Kane? Yes. Okay. He, he, made, he decided to do what? He decided to kill his brother and he did not give God the right sacrifice. Now, from the examples you have given, from the examples you have cited, can you tell me one thing? Um, do we have consequences? Do, do you know the aftermath of uh, the decisions they made? Do we have the consequences? What happened to them after they decided whatever they decided? For example, what happened to Cain? Lydia? His farm was not growing any crops. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Now, so any decision we make influences our lives either negatively or positively. positively. Now, can we see the Bible's advice on the decisions that we make from the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5 to 6? Who will read it for us quickly? Uh, Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6, quickly. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Never rely on what you think you know. Remember the Lord in everything you do, and he will show you the right way. Very good. What have you learned from the verse? Yes, Alex? If you trust in the Lord, then he will show you what to do. If we trust in the Lord, he will show us what to do. What to do. To do. When we trust in the Lord, he will show us what to do, all right? Yes. What else have you learned from the verse? Somebody else? Yes, Celine? We should never rely on our own understanding. We should never rely on our own? Understanding. understanding. We should never rely on our own word. Understanding. understanding. Very good. Si kuna mambo sisi tunasemanga tunajua yes. kama ma teens. Sindio? Yes. Na tunasemanga mimi nikiwa teen najua hii, najua hii, najua hii. Hata staki adva? Advice. What is the Bible, uh, what is Solomon advising us to do? We should not lean on our own understanding. understanding. What does, what else have you learned from the verse? We should trust in the Lord at all times. We should trust in the Lord at all times. Very good. And in all our ways, we should acknowledge. We should acknowledge Him. Him. So we should not decide on anything. We should not make any decision without involving God in all our decisions. In all our what? Decisions. In all our decisions. Very good. Now today, we shall look at one man, one hero in the Bible. Do you know who a hero is? Yes. A hero is? Someone who is brave or courageous to do anything. Very nice, Alex. A hero is someone who is very courageous, very brave to do anything. To do anything. Very good, Alex. Now, we shall look at one hero in the Bible. And this hero was Joshua. Was who? Joshua. Joshua. What? Joshua. Now, Joshua succeeded. Tell me, Joshua succeeded? He came after? Moses. He came after? Moses. He came after Moses. Now, do you know the story? Briefly, let me tell you what happened. Now, there was a time when Moses disobeyed God. Moses disobeyed God. God. He was told to speak to the rock. But what did he do? He struck it. He struck it. Very good. Instead of? Speaking to it. Speaking to it. And God became angry. Uh -huh. He became very uh -huh. angry with him. Now what happened? Because of what he did, God told Moses that he would not reach the Canaan. Canaan. He would not reach where? Canaan. Canaan. But he did one thing, one good thing to Moses. He took, them, he took him on a mountain and showed him everything about Canaan. Actually, he gave him a view of the Lord. But then he told him, you will not go there. So who will go? Who will lead the children up to that point? Joshua. And so, if you read from the book of Numbers, uh, from the book of Numbers 27, 19 to 20, what did God tell Moses to do? Quickly read for us. Numbers 27 from verse 19 to 20 it says, 
cause him to stand before Eliezer the priest and all the congregation, and you shall commission him in their sight. You shall invest him with some of your authority, that all the congregation of the people of Israel may obey. So you see, you see what happened? Moses ameambua na mungu weka Joshua hapa, mweke before priests, unaona? And then umpatie part of your authority. Yani, yani Moses amugawie, diyo sasa Joshua kisimama, awe anasikizwa na kira mtu. Unanisikia? Yes. So Joshua, as we shall see, was a great hero. Si munajuaga mahiro, si njini ambao munakope Martins? Yes. yes. Ebu niambie hero moja unakope. My na usinipe wa Bible, kuna watu huku inje unakopingi, na unataa kuwa kama ye, sindio? One of them. My father. Your father? Yeah. Is your hero? Oh, that's nice. Lydia, do you have a hero or a heroine? Yes. Who? My uncle. Your uncle? Selim? My father. Your father? Cliff? My father. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. So you are, your parents are heroes? Yes. Oh, that's good. Now... Uh, Joshua was a hero. And uh, if we read from the book of Joshua 24.15, somebody read for us. Joshua 24.15. Uh, 24.15. It says, mm -hmm. But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, mm -hmm. then choose yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the, whether the gods your forefathers served beyond the rivers or gods of Amorites, in, in whose land you are are living but as for me my household will will serve the lord can we read the last sentence the last sentence of that verse together but as for me read but as for me and my, my household, household we will serve, will serve the, the lord. lord again but as, as for, for me and my household, household we, we will, will serve, serve the lord we will serve the lord who said those words Joshua. That was a decision that Joshua made. A personal what? Decision. A personal decision. Now, Joshua has now taken over from Moses. And now he started leading the children of Israel uh, to, to Canaan. And we see him overcoming so many things. Overcoming so many things. Now, before they crossed over, there was a very great river called River Jordan. And through him, the children of Israel were able to cross over to the other side, right? Then on the other side, there was a very big city. A huge city. Actually, it was a city that uh, the Bible says there was no other city like that one. Unasikia? Yes. The walls, onyeshaka the walls, even the, unaona width. Unaona hii yetu ni jiwe moja moja ya. Eh? Ya jeriko iriko imekuwa na diameter furani hivi. Unaona? So haikuwa raisi kuibomoa. It was not easy. But through Joshua. Si munajua vile kuliendelea? Yes. Aje. What did they do? They went through the temple seven times. And on the seventh time, they th when they went, they blew the trumpets. And the wall broke down. So they went round the city. They went round the city once for six days. And on the seventh day, they, they went round actually six times. And on the seventh time, the priests and others, walikuwa mepewa orders, what they would do, waka, waka shout, the, the members shouted, Others blew trumpets and the wall crumbled down. Is it understood? Yes. Yes. So, so far, can you see Joshua is a hero? Yes. yes. Is he? Yes. Joshua was a great hero. Now, he stood firm in his belief in God. He stood firm. And that's why he said, even if everybody else will choose not to serve the Lord, I personally, I and my family, we will serve the Lord. Lord. Serve the Lord. So he, st he stood firm in his belief in God. 
Now, we need to say this prayer as teens, just like Joshua. Just like Joshua. Just like Joshua. Can you say this after me? Father, 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 Father help us. Help us. Us. Help us. Help us. Like Joshua. Like Joshua. Like Joshua. Like Joshua. To be strong in our faith. 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 And to obey what your word commands. And to obey what your word commands. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Have you listened to what you are saying? Yes. You have asked God to do what? To make you strong in faith. To make you strong in faith. Just like who? Joshua. Just like Joshua. Now, what does uh, no now um what does this uh, mean to us as teens today? As teens today. Today of today of twenty first century. You know that happened. Whatever we are reading happened. I even do not know whether I call them centuries. Centuries and centuries and centuries ago. So what does this, if we put this in our lives today, as teens, what does it mean to us? To us. What does it mean to us? To us. Now, um, before we come to that, if we look at the last two chapters of the book of Joshua, the last two chapters of the book of Joshua. Of the book of Joshua. Now Joshua urged the. If you read from the book of Joshua, chapter twenty-three, we will not read because it is our chapter. Do not read it's our chapter. Uh, the whole of that book, that is Joshua chapter twenty-three. You will see Joshua urging the Israelites to serve God. Urging the Israelites to do what? To serve God. To serve. God. And uh, if you read from Joshua 23, 1 to 2. Somebody, quickly. 23, 1 to 2. Joshua 23, 1 to 2. Mm -hmm. It says, mm -hmm. Much later, the Lord gave Israel security from the enemies around them. Mm -hmm. By that time, Joshua was very old. Mm -hmm. So he called By that time, Joshua was very old. old. Mm -hmm. So he called all Israel, the elders, leaders, judges, and the officers of the people, mm -hmm. and said, mm -hmm. I am very old now. You have seen everything that the, you have seen everything that the Lord your God has done for all the nations because of you. Mm -hmm. The Lord your God has been fighting for you. Mm -hmm. I have assigned as the possession of your tribes the land of the nations that are still left as well as all of the nations that I have already conquered from the river Jordan in the east of the Mediterranean Sea in the west. Very good. Now you can see that Joshua has become very old. old. And now he has assembled everybody, including the elders. And he's talking to them. You do, do not forget. Do not forget where we have come from. That is what he's, he's telling them. Do not forget where we are coming from. Yes. Remember what God has done for you all along. You have seen the many, 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 many nations that he has conquered before you are on eyes. Before you are on eyes. Before you are on eyes. And so he's urging them not to forget. Not to forget. forget. Not to forget. forget. Si mara nyingi tunasahau? Yes. Wewe si unasahau kila siku mambo mengi unafanywa hata na mzazi? Yes. See, we, we tend to forget, isn't it? Yes. But Joshua is telling the Israelites not to do what? Forget. Yes. Not to forget. And that now if you read from the book of uh, Joshua 23:6 to 8, um we will not read. He's asking a question now. He's posing a question to the Israelites and he's asking them are you ready? Will you serve this Lord? Will you serve this Lord? This Lord about to mbali. Si unaona sasa anaenda akiwaongelesha. You see, 
huyu Mungu tumesoga na yeye mbali 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 will you serve this Lord, Lord. What, did, what was the response of the Israelites they, they decided to serve the Lord they decided uh, to serve the Lord yes uh, they decided to serve the Lord that is uh, Joshua 24 19 to 21 you will see them he, them saying we will serve this lord we will serve this lord eh hey, na Joshua anacheka anawacheka imagine anawauliza are you sure are you sure are you sure you are able to serve this lord, lord. why anawaambia this god is holy and jealous holy and jealous holy and jealous so hautamka tu unaamka asubuhi unasema we will serve the lord he's holy and jealous at the same time now lakini wakaendelea wakamwambia wakaendelea wakamwambia lakini tutamserve all the same will serve him will serve him will serve this god okay yes yes joshua 24 22 to 27 Abiding agreement was made. Abiding agreement was made. That was a covenant. So they made a covenant to serve and obey God. God. To serve and obey who? God. God. Serve and obey who? God. Uh, serve and obey God. Now, as I want us now to look at ourselves. To look at ourselves now. We put ourselves now uh, in the shoes of Joshua. Joshua is already dead. Now what does the Bible tell us as teens of today? Teens of today. Teens of today. Um, God sent a new covenant to us through Jesus Christ. Christ. Through Jesus Christ. Christ. Through Jesus Christ. A new agreement was made. A new covenant was made through Jesus Christ. When he died on the cross when he died on the cross and uh, serving god is very easy for us we can also choose to serve god we can also choose to serve god, god. we can also choose to serve god but we cannot do it without the help of our helper who is our helper the holy spirit who is our helper The Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Who is our helper? The, The Holy Spirit. Spirit. The Holy Spirit. We cannot serve God without our help. And uh, our helper, through our helper, who is the Holy Spirit? Who is the Holy Spirit of God? Right? Yes. Have you learned anything from the story from this hero story? Yes. 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 Have you learned anything from this hero story? Yes. yes. That that Lydia tell us that I have done that Joshua was a hero and we should be like him too. Joshua was a hero and we should copy him copy him as much as we try to copy heroes wa hii dunia to copy huyo huyu hero abaye ni wa bibiri it is a great decision when you say i I will serve who the Lord. Lord. I will serve the Lord. The Lord. It is one of the greatest decisions that one can ever make. Is it okay? Yes. So you will be heroes by so doing, all right? Yes. Before me I have a chart which explains about a decision. A boy standing on a bridge who has to to decide on one thing between saving the money or the bible from drowning he has to save to make a quick decision on what to save write in your comments what she should save thank you i want us to stop there i want us to stop there uh, we shall continue with our study tomorrow can you wave to the children watching us at home tell them bye Bye. 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 All right.